All right, so this is an add-on to the original paint tutorial that I did, um, focusing on full body paint kits. So I touched on this a little bit, um, about how some models have it split up so that you can see um, half the fuselage is on one side, half the fuselage on the other, TL might be separate, that sort of thing. And most of these come with a full body paint kit in some way, shape, or form. So I have the Gulfstream G650 paint kit pulled up right now, as well as the full body kit that comes with this. So as you can see, I've already finished up our livery um, that we're using. Um, so um, we have everything in place right now. And what we're going to do is, just like we do when we flip sides on a normal paint kit, make our marks on the align markers. There's three of them in the 650, so there, there, and there. And these colored lines, don't worry about those. Those won't show up on the normal paint kit. We don't have to worry about that. So now what we do is we can go ahead and we can move our layer group that has all our paint on it. And we can move it in here to the 650 actual paint kit. Now, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to end up copying this three times before the end. But this will be the left front. So I'm going to move this all the way to the, over on the edge. So there we see. We zoom in here, the mark lines up right there, and we can just center it up right. Looks pretty good there. Yeah, that's good. So, as you can see, everything is basically exactly where it was on the full body kit, so we can look at those lights specifically. Look at the bottom line, it intersects the first light, and then goes under the last two. We go to the full body, intersects the first light, goes under the last two. So it's spot on. So now what we can do is we want to get the left rear and the left tail done. So I'm going to copy this twice. Once will be the left rear, once will be the left tail. Oh, not what I wanted to do. So the left rear, if we zoom back out, is going to be that segment right there. So we don't have to really do much. So we'll move this all the way over. And we're looking for our uh, bottom red mark. There it is right there. So we'll zoom in. And we'll line our mark up right on there. Now what we're going to have to do, so this doesn't show up on like the linglets and the fuselage, we're going to have to go ahead and cut this stuff out. So what I do is I just make a path covering the entire area where there's unnecessary paint at, and then I make a selection from the path. So if we zoom in here, look at everything inside our selection, making sure anything outside the selection isn't on any of part of the paint kit that we painted, which it isn't. So now we're going to go basically go through every single layer here and press Control X. And as you can see, we've got areas of the paint being removed that are inside the selection area. Control Shift A to unselect. Press B to get rid of the path. And as you can see, if we zoom in here, we'll grow close. None of this path is all this coloring, extra coloring is on the blue segment, so that's good. It's a, it won't show up on the paint kit. So we're all good there. And then finally, the left tail. Zoom back out. Um, this is the left side tail up here. Um, so we're going to have to go ahead and flip the layer both horizontally and vertically. And then move it over. So once again, there's our mark. We're putting that right there on that one. And same thing again, we have to go ahead and get rid of all the extra path coloring that we have. That, as you can see, would basically cover up all this stuff out here. 
and we obviously don't want that. So more than likely, actually, it would go up to like here because I think the red mark for the underneath is somewhere. It's hiding somewhere under one of these, and I just want to get rid of that. So go ahead and take this out all the way out here. Selection from the path. Looks like everything's pretty well covered, so we'll go ahead and just start control Xing down the layers again. And once again, nothing on here is on any extra other part besides the tail. So now what we can do is go ahead and file export to our G650 folder. And now basically we have to just make sure every single side is aligned up together. Um, because obviously um, we're just doing everything visually right now. And when we do things visually, sometimes there's things that are a pixel or two off. And it's just a simple fix on the paint kit, obviously. But we want to make sure it looks okay in the actual sim. Wait for model converter X here to launch. And there it is. Go ahead and we'll import airplanes. KCAI 650 and 8.2 alpha was what we're painting. So we can look on here. Um, the division between the front and back, if we look on the actual paint kit, um, hold on, is basically right after that window. So it's like right about here or so. And it's all lined up. And if we go back to the rear as well, the tail lineup is basically right there, and it looks like everything's well aligned on the tail as well. So um, that's the basics of using a full body paint kit. So I only, on that paint kit specifically, paint pretty much on the full body paint kit, because I only use the full body for the actual um, parts that are divided up. So basically just a fuselage on this one. Anything for like the engines or the winglets um, or the registrations, I just only use the uh, normal paint kit. So. Um, once again, feel free to contact me if you have any questions about using full body paint kits if you come across them. Um, thanks for watching.